I'm Ryan for M. Mayhita. I'm here with Ed Suarez. And Ed, I want to know first and foremost, your involvement with Samurai, because you're pretty hands-on here, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, Lucas and Andre are good friends of mine. You know, I've, I've recently taken on a new position with the RFA, um, but, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm still working with them, and we're, we're still trying to get this thing going, too. Well, they're doing a good job, but I'm curious how you feel. Obviously, you work with guys like Anderson Silva on the biggest stage there is. Is your heart still have a special place, though, for these smaller shows? Oh, of course. I mean, that's why I'm here. I mean, I, I these guys do everything. I, I don't really do anything here, to be honest with you. I, I mean... These guys are the ones that run the show, but I'm here because I enjoy it. There's always good fights. It's always a good crowd. It's a good vibe. And this is where it all begins. You know what I mean? These are, these are the next future champions. Well, we were talking off camera here about Anderson. And, you know, obviously you've seen him fight so many times. And I was just saying to you that I alternate between giggling with just pure glee and my mouth hanging open in awe of how good he is. What, what's been your favorite fight of his, though? Um, my favorite fight of his is, uh, I mean, there's been so many, you know what I mean? Uh, I really enjoyed the Chris Lieben fight, his first fight, the first fight that he uh, won the title with. Um, the, believe it or not, the fight that I was the most nervous for in his whole career was uh, the Nate Marquardt fight. I don't know why, but... I was really nervous at that time for that fight. But, you know, Anderson's just, I mean, every fight of his, there's always something special. And that's why I feel that it's so important for people, even if you're not a fan of the sport, to experience watching one of the greatest of all time. It's like, if people could know, if people know now what, you know, if people knew then what they know now, and like when you think about Muhammad Ali, if you were alive and you were aware that he was fighting, even if you weren't a boxing fan, wouldn't you feel like you should have watched that fight live and that's that's sort of how I feel about Anderson Anderson's a guy that you never know what he's gonna do and he's always exciting so it's like for somebody to not watch one of his fights I think here's like you're just not watching a piece of history well I agree with you there and I also what I when I saw the clip of him after Big Nog won his fight yeah. and it's happened before and you see Anderson yeah. shovendo <laughs> you know crying and crying and to, to know how important Noguera is to him, and when you know how important Anderson is to other people, to me, it's really, it just really deepens how wonderful of an athlete and, and an ambassador of the sport I believe he is. Uh, he, he's one of the greats, and, and, and Noguera is too. I mean, Noguera, Noguera is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. He's got a heart of gold. He's a solid guy, and you know, that's one thing that I'm very proud to say about all our fighters. Not only are they amazing fighters, but they're even better people outside the octagon, and they're just great people. So, Canal Combache put out the story where Anderson said he would fight John under the right circumstances and at a catch weight, and he would do it for the fans, not for what UFC could offer him. Truth to that story, what do, you, what do you know about it, and how do you feel about it? Hey, if that's what Anderson says, that's what he says. Please make it happen. We'll see what happens. How do you feel about the fact that Chael is going to get a fight with John Jones when you've got somebody like Lyoto Machida, who, by all accounts, won the first round against John and really, I believe, is a is in line and, and, and perhaps the very next one, I think, should get the fight. How do you feel about the fact that now Chael will get the fight instead of somebody like Lyoto? You know, it's the fight business, and I think there's a lot of different reasons why it is what it is, but I feel that the reality show needs a little bit of a boost, and I think Chael's the right recipe to help that. And, uh, and you know, at the end of the day, Chael did accept to take his fight on eight days' notice, and whether you want to deny it or not, I mean, I feel that there's certain merit to that, and uh, regardless, it is what it is. I mean, uh, you know, hopefully uh, uh, Lyoto will get that fight against Dan Henderson to give a really true next contender and we'll take each day at a time you know what I mean it's it's no big deal I think what's going to be good for the sport what's good for the UFC will be good for all of us and by the way we know we were down at Black House not too long ago speaking with Glover what a show he put on good yeah. for him yeah I mean he's a, he's definitely one of the you know definitely one of the top 10 light heavyweights in the world and uh and uh, you know but once again you can't take anything away from Maldonado because that just shows the kind of heart that that guy has you know he's he's amazing so is there anybody that you've got whose name we may not know yet that you think we should keep our eyes out for 
Uh, you know, we've got a lot of up and coming guys. You know, there's a lot of young guys that are coming up that's going to be a little while before you hear them. But I'd say some of our newer guys, you know, it's kind of like Glover. He's a new one to be on the scene. I think Justin Lawrence is another one. He had an unfortunate last fight, he didn't win. But, but you know, we've got a lot, a lot of young and upcoming guys, and, and you know, we've got a lot of surprises. All right, Ed, I'll let you go now and enjoy the fights. But once again, if you could just tell Anderson thank you for being the entertainer that he is because he really, you know, it's just such a treat. I really, I, I, I remember as a kid watching Muhammad Ali. I was little, but I watched it with my dad, and I've shown my daughter Anderson, and she knows who he is, and I just think it's awesome. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I feel the same way. I mean, he's, he's my client, but he's like my family, and... And I'm a fan. I mean, I was a fan of his before I started managing him. I mean, nothing seems to amaze me anymore with him. Very nice. Well, have a great night. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you.